Welcome back kings and queens and welcome if you're new here. My name is Hope King and I'm the designer behind Kings Designs MD. Today I'm in Canva and I just wanted to show you how to create notebook paper in Canva. So I'm in the home screen. I'm just going to click create a design. I like to pick custom size and I'm going to choose eight and a half by 11. That just gives me what is uh, the standard sheet of paper. I'm going to go to my bottom screen and just expand it a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing. First thing I want to do is go over to my element section, click on elements, and making notebook paper is pretty simple. So all I'm work, working with today is lines. So I'm going to choose from lines and shapes and I'm going to choose a straight line. And I'm going to drag it all the way across my paper. If you're used to working with Canva, you know Canva gives you purple lines to show you where everything is placed. So I'm going to take that up to my half inch mark and you can see it right here on the side that is marked at a half an inch. And now I am going to hit this plus sign to duplicate it. I'm going to move it down to the two inch mark. So it's a half inch space between them. So this is moved down to the uh, one and a half inch line. So it's at the ha half inch mark of the one, one and a half inches. And I move my second one down to the two inch line. Now, once you move stuff down in Canva, it will automatically space your next line out for you. So I'm going to hit the duplicate button and it should automatically space everything out one half inch for me. Now I'm going to keep hitting duplicate until it gets to the bottom of the page. All right, so we're at the bottom of our page and I'm just gonna delete that last line out so everything's even. Now I'm gonna highlight all of these together right click and highlight and what I'm going to do is go up here to the line color I'm going to click that and I'm going to change it to blue so now it looks more like notebook paper lines if it actually changed my color click it here click blue there we go it changed all my all my line colors so by clicking them all and highlight them, I can change them all at one time. I'm going to click them all again, <clears throat> and I can group them. Now that I grouped them, I can move them around the page if I wanted to, but I don't necessarily want to do that right now. The next thing I want to do is I'm clicking my line again, and you see it appear over here. <clears throat> but I want to rotate my line. So I'm going to bring my line up to the half inch mark here, if I can get it straight. So I'm going to bring it up and move it over so I can get it on a half inch mark. Now sometimes what I like to do is zoom in because I have a little bit more control over my line. And now that I have my line set, I'm going to change the color and I'm going to make it red. And I'm going to zoom back out to make sure I want to have it that far over because I actually I think I want to bring it over a little bit more. to the one inch. Now depending on what you're doing, if you move it over to the one inch, um, if that works for you, depending on what you're doing, you can have room in your margin to put holes in if you want it to, or um, just whatever, depending on how you want it to design. So now I have what looks like a sheet of notebook paper. Again, if I want to, I can move this up. Or you can even start higher if you want to um, so that you don't have a gap at the bottom. I can always duplicate it and add another line to the bottom. Um, or I can uh, duplicate the whole group. And now I have a whole nother set of lines to move down. But if you wanted your lines to go all the way down to the bottom of the page, you could do that. But that's just a way to 
make your lines in Canva. And I'm just moving it around because I see the uh, the gap in my line. So I wanted to get it back up as close to what it should look like as possible. And this is just me messing around. So not something you have to do. But just to show you how you can get your lines to look in Canva. So I hope this helps somebody. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys have a great day.